Hello and welcome to Startup Hack. Today we are going to talk about how to reduce .NET Core app size. So let's jump right in. Make sure to check out the link down below because we always provide the code samples that you can pull down and follow along so you can see in our project. Do you want to earn $100,000 a year? Do you want to become a software developer within just 3 months? With our amazing course and awesome tutors, you never have to worry about getting stuck. We help students to learn skills that companies want to hire. We are Startup Hack. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So let's get started. Alright, one of the significant difference between .NET Core and .NET Framework is that .NET Core promotes self-containing deployment that is everything required to run to bundle the application together. It doesn't rely on having the framework installed separately. The drawback is the size. It pulls along a complete copy of the runtime and framework. To resolve the size problem, Microsoft has introduced an alternative to cut unused assemblies as part of publishing self-contained applications known as assembly linker. Optionally, during the publishing process, a trim phase occurs which does a walkthrough of the code classes identifying the assemblies that are used. It will then only package required assemblies into the app, thereby reducing the size of the application. In .NET 5, open the assemblies and removing the types and members that are not used by the application for the reducing the size. For example, for a basic .NET Core Hello World application, the size of assemblies are here. So it's a lot. Okay, now assembly label trimming. To perform trimming, add assembly label, use the .NET publish command either without a trim mode or use trim mode, copy use trim mode in the project file. So here's example or on the command line, use this command. Okay, now member level trimming. .NET 5 trimming take it further deep into the code and remove types and members that are not used. It can have a significant effect where only a small subset of an assembly is used. Further reduction in the size of the application can be made by enabling member level trimming by putting trim mode link in the project file. So here's example or using the command line like this trim mode link. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you learn how to reduce size of .NET Core application. So don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. To joining our course, you can simply go to our website called startuphack.com. Thank you.